plus four parts strengthen your body, your mind, and your spirit. Be proud of yourself and the uniform you now wear. The seventh week of training is the first week recruits set their boots on the ground of Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton. To start the third phase, the recruits are taught basic fundamentals of marksmanship during classes taught by primary marksmanship instructors. Yes, sir. The recruits spend the week getting comfortable with the standing, kneeling, sitting, and prone firing positions. With plenty of practice, the recruits attempt to master the different fundamentals such as breathing control as well as trigger control. They also spend time in the indoor simulator marksmanship trainer to practice what it would actually be like to fire the weapons. Throughout the week, recruits are reminded of different weapon safety rules as well. This is Grass Week. This week is our Table 1 Relay for the recruits. Many of the recruits, this is their first time ever actually firing a live round. They're taking everything that they did last week, learning how to aim, the proper, proper shot placement, proper, proper stances, proper positions and holds, and they're actually applying that to live rounds this week. Qualify. Every recruit will have a coach standing over them that is willing to help them out and turn them into the marksmen that we need them to be as Marines. Uh, you know, the goal of every Marine is to become a rifleman, to become proficient with their weapon, and that's what we're doing here. Is, uh, before they leave out of here, they will be a rifleman first and foremost. During week eight of training, recruits head to Edson Range to apply the basic fundamentals of combat marksmanship on Table One. This week, recruits will utilize the knowledge they learned on Grass Week to qualify with the M16A4 service rifle. While on the range, recruits must properly load their weapons, sight in, and fire at the targets up to 500 meters away in the allotted amount of time. While half of the recruits are qualifying, the others are supporting them by tracking and recording their scores in the pits. There, recruits wait for their targets to be hit so that they can pull them down, plot where the round hit, and return the target in a speeding way. Once the original relay is complete, the recruits in the pits will rotate with the shooters. By the week's end, recruits will have successfully qualified with the weapon and have a greater understanding for the saying, every Marine and Rifleman. In Alpha Company's ninth week of training, recruits spend the beginning of the week on the Table 2 portion of the rifle range. This combat-oriented section assesses the recruit's ability to quickly side in and engage their target while conducting a tactical speed reload in a flak and kevlar. While in the hills of Camp Pendleton, the recruits learned about tactical crawls, land navigation with a map and compass, and buddy rushes while maintaining cover and concealment. Field Week emphasizes on basic field-related skills in a controlled environment. This allows recruits to apply their mental knowledge and physical abilities to conduct themselves with a combat mindset in a setting that simulates the fog of war. While the recruits have only a couple more weeks left of recruit training, this week will prepare the recruits for their culminating event, the Crucible. This is Week 9. Right 
So this week, Fox Company and that field week. Started the week off, table two shooting, which is that close quarter combat shooting. We worked on all those drills that PMI taught. Those tactical reloads, speed reloads, control pairs through the chest, stop drills. They were put in that combat mindset and they went out there and they accomplished their mission that they were assigned to do. Downrange Down area is clear. clear. Then they went to the field for their basic warrior training. They went out there and they did this assault course where they practiced low light drills with flares in the air, combat gliding, and how to properly overcome obstacles in the combat territory and the combat mindset. Then they started learning land navigation, how to read a map, how to plot points on the map, and how to find those places they plotted. They worked on it during the day and at night. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this gives a little bit of insight of what it takes to become a United States Marine. If you liked the video, please check out some more over here. Until next time, Simplified Devil Dogs.